Hello, super, especially to the super moms and super dads. Welcome back to Paano Ba to? We all say that right now, health is our top priority and that we should strengthen our immune system. Pero how does our immune system work? And as parents, how can we level up our kids' immunity? And did you know na merong two main components ang ating immunity. To help us level up what we know about our immune system, I invited Dr. June Dimaano, the Medical Director of Abbott Nutrition. Hello, Dr. June! Welcome back to Paano Ba To? Hi, Bianca! I'm happy to be a guest here to uh, inform your viewers some good news about how to strengthen their immune system. Yes, exactly! Thank you once again for your time. I am looking forward to learning yet again from you. So like you mentioned, the focus of our conversation today is immunity. In, in, in layman's terms, I guess, ang pagkakaintindi natin ng immune system is this is what protects our body against sickness, against bacteria, diseases, ganyan. And all of us, we want to take care of our immune system, especially for our kids. There is something interesting that you will share about the immune system that we really didn't know about. Mm -hmm. There are are apparently two components, layers, levels. What is the correct term? And please tell us about this. Two components of the immune system. So let me start first with the immune system in general. So we talk about the immune system a lot nowadays. That's the buzzword that everybody's talking about. You have to strengthen your immune system. But the question is, what is the immune system? First, um, the immune system's function is to protect the body from invading microorganisms, from foreign you know, um, materials or objects that can harm our body. So kailangan i-protect niya ito. Now, meron tayong tinatawag na components which we call the innate and adaptive immunity. Now, ano ba yung innate? Ano yung adaptive? Using the military as an analogy, parang ano yan, meron kang first line of defense. Let's say you're protecting uh, a palace or uh, a certain important place or an important person. Meron kang mga layers no, ng mga sundalo mo around you. So yung pinaka first line of defense mo, yan yung tinatawag na innate immunity. Innate, ibig sabihin, it, it's more general. It's the first line of defense and must fast acting siya. Ibig sabihin, talagang nandiyan na kaagad para maprotektahan na kaagad. In the case of our body, it's, it's of course the, the main organs, no? Like the, the brain, the heart, the lungs, all of those have to remain functioning. And therefore, the immune system should try to defend it, I mean, these organs which are interconnected inside our body from invading microorganisms which may cause havoc and sickness inside our body. So yun yung innate immunity. Now, yung adaptive immunity naman, ito yung parang second line of defense ng immune system. Pag sinabi adaptive, it is also more specific. So kung general yung innate, yung adaptive mo is more specific. Now, being more specific, sigurista siya. May yung mga cells within the adaptive immune system, kailangan sigurado siya na ito yung microorganism na nagkakos ng injury. At the, therefore, kailangan yun ang i-attack ko. So, mas specific siya. It is more specific and it's more accurate compared to the innate system. Pero, in order for it to be specific and para matandaan niya no? uh, yung kanyang ina-attack na organism, mas slow-acting din siya. Mas mabagal siya. Kasi nga, sigurista siya. Gusto niya malaman na itong virus na to, itong bacteria na to, ito yung talagang nagkakos ng disease sa katawan. And therefore, I have to attack specifically that virus or that bacteria. However, meron din siyang tinatawag na memory. Memory. So natatandaan niya. So sa first interaction niya with that uh, organism, with the invading organism, hindi pa niya masyadong ma-recognize kasi first time pala niya na-encounter. Kaya mabagal yung reaction niya. However, as time goes by, let's say a few years later, na-infect ka ulit with that virus, mabilis na siya kasi may memory siya. Natandaan na niya yung virus na yun. And therefore, kapag na-infect uh, na ulit yung individual with that virus, mas mabilis niyang ma-attack yung virus na yun. So yun yung tinatawag nating adaptive immunity. So that's innate, first line, fast acting, general. Yung adaptive naman, it's slower, it's more specific, and more accurate. It has memory. So the two of them work hand in hand in order to protect the other organ systems in the body. Grabe our bodies, <laughs> how it works. Like, exactly. Paano to naisip ni God na gawin niya na parang all the bases, I got it covered. Okay. In the past interviews that we've done, Doc, you talk about proper nutrition as 
really a building block of a, of a healthy, strong immune system, right? Is that enough to cover both innate and adaptive immunity and make sure that both components are, are strong and can protect us? Maraming factors nag affect sa strength ng immune system. And like, you know, rest, uh, sleep, reduce our stress levels, all of those things are the non-nutritional component of how to uh, strengthen our immune system. However, nutrition is one of the, I always say, low-hanging fruits. Because no? nutrition is somehow easier to control than the other factors. Because nutrition, we can choose what we can eat, right? Especially for kids, no? like Carmen, kay Lucia. How do you make sure that they eat nutritionally rich foods? I love it that there's a question for me. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm very lucky that both my kids love eating vegetables, but I think function ng kung ano yung nakikita nila, because mm-hmm. my husband and I eat a lot of vegetables also. So for them, that's normal food that is served on the tables. But I do know that some days, syempre, they are more difficult to feed. May pihika, hindi mo mapapakain talaga ng purely healthy. Minsan, they'll reach for medyo mas mga junk food. And so, um, yeah, your work at Abbott definitely helps me keep my kids uh, healthy and strong. And speaking of that, Doc, I know you work with a lot of research. Yeah, tell us about your work and how you have targeted talaga to strengthen both innate and adaptive immune systems, especially in children. That's correct. No? So I'm, I work in medical affairs in Abbott. We conduct a lot of research and we are happy to say that we are the first to introduce HMO in, in a growing up milk no? for children about three years old in the Philippines and also nucleotides. Nucleotides, it was introduced earlier in uh, Similac Gain School, but the two of them work hand in hand so that they can strengthen both innate and adaptive immunity. So HMO for uh, innate immunity, and nucleotides for adaptive immunity. Ah, yun pala yung role nun. Oh, okay, because I, and I'm sure a lot of moms who are watching this, we read what's on the box, right? And though mm-hmm. we read, we cannot say that we fully understand what these terms mean in the icons, you know? Yeah. It's so much more understandable when you explain it. So, Doc, uh, tell us a bit more about the benefits of that. You mentioned HMO and you mentioned nucleotides. So HMO, the, there are different types of HMOs, no? but the one that we have is 2-FL or 2-fucosalactose HMO. And that has been shown in clinical studies to uh, actually reduce the risk of respiratory infections by up to 66%. No? So yun yung naging benefit niya na nakita namin sa aming mga pag-aaral. So three yung mechanisms of action ng HMO. HMO. First is it acts as receptor decoys. No? Medyo technical, pero sa, pag sinabi mong receptor decoys, ibig sabihin lang yun na parang niloloko niya or nililito niya yung microorganism. Let's say kasi di ba yung intestine natin, gastrointestinal tract, it also has a mucosa lining. No? Doon nag attach yung mga mikrobyo, viruses, bacteria, etc. para makapasok sa katawan natin. So it is part of the innate uh, immune system because it's the first line of defense. Now, Bago makapasok yung mikrobyo, whether it's a bacteria or a virus, kailangan niya mag-attach sa receptors in the intestinal tract para makapasok siya at maka-cause ng disease. Now, what HMO does, it, it goes floating around in the uh, gastrointestinal tract. Tapos akala ng mikrobyo, siya yung receptor doon sa intestine. So mag attach siya sa HMO, pero actually HMO will bring it out. It will be flushed out when the person, you know, defecates or when, you know, if he moves his bowel. So mawawala na siya, may excrete siya kasama ng HMO. The second one is that it's a prebiotic. Pag sabi mo naman prebiotic, it's food for the good bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract. And that ecosystem has to be maintained in the right proportions of different types of bacteria in order to preserve and maintain the health of the person, not just the gastrointestinal tract. Now, kapag kawalang pagkain yung mga good bacteria na yun, they hindi sila magta-thrive and the bad bacteria may thrive and that may cause disease. And the third one, uh, a certain amount or level of HMOs are also absorbed inside the body through the gastrointestinal tract. It crosses and goes to the bloodstream. And it can also help stimulate um, the immune system 
in order for it to release certain chemicals or substances that will regulate the immune system so that it can function optimally. So you need three ways by which HMOs act on uh, the uh, uh, innate immune system. So the second component or layer of the immune system is the adaptive immune system. Now, in terms of nutrition naman and nutrients found in similar gain school, meron tayong tinatawag na nucleotides. No? Your nucleotides are the building blocks of the nucleic acids in the cells. It's just the, uh, the longer name for DNA. You know DNA. I think everybody knows DNA. No? So DNA is the, um, it's a molecule inside the nucleus of the cells. And DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid, it's uh, important in cell multiplication in the replication of the cells and it also is important for the genes no genes na nagdedetermine ng characteristics ng isang tao so doon naka-embed lahat yon no if i am going to give you an example pa siyang realist ng trend or hagdan no? may dalawang ano siya layers tapos nagka mag, nagkakabit sila sa gitna at yung nagkakabit ng dalawang strands na yon are nucleotides let me just say that the nucleotides are important for cell multiplication, for cell replication. Now, ano yung role ng nucleotides naman sa immune system? Now, sa aming mga pag-aaral, we were able to see that supplementing with nucleotides in the diet can actually reduce diarrhea in children. Now, ano yung mechanism by which nucleotides can do that? One way is kasi yung mga cells natin sa gastrointestinal tract, no? mabilis magmultiply yeah? at mabilis din siya mag-shed off. No? Kaya kailangan mo ng nucleotides to supply it kasi mabilis din siya mag-replicate. In the same manner, kailangan din ng cells of the immune system, yung tinatawag natin white blood cells or the lymphocytes kasi marami yung lymphocytes, iba-ibang klase. Yan. Mabilis din sila mag-multiply, lalo na kung may injury yung tao, may sakit, may infection. Kailangan, para yun parang sinabi ko nga kanina, para siyang military. Kailangan mo ng reinforcement, more soldiers, more people to help you defend the fort. No? And how do you do that? By multiplying faster. And how can you multiply faster if you don't have nucleotides or DNA? Um, we say that it helps the adaptive or the more specific, the slower component of the immune system. Now, meron din siyang effects on, uh, on vaccination. Meron tayong mga researches na nagsasabi na when a diet is supplemented with nucleotides, it can actually help improve vaccination response to certain types of microorganisms. So our example, no? meron kami yung pag-aaral na ginawa sa mga bata, no? Yung mga bata na binigyan ng uh, nucleotide supplementation, they were able to uh, produce more antibodies versus certain organisms, particularly Haemophilus influenza type B or tinatawag nila na HIB and also against the diphtheria. So yung dalawang yun, very specific, the antibodies being produced by children who were vaccinated against them were higher compared to those children who did not receive nucleotide supplementation. So na, natutulungan niya yung mga cells in the immune system to produce more antibodies versus specific types of microorganism. Grabe. I think right now, as a parent, napaka-priceless ng peace of mind that mm -hmm. knowing that you are able to take care of your kids properly. And I am super always so happy to know more about the amazing things that go into Similac Gain School. I mean, to us, it's just a scoop of white powder mm -hmm. that we mix into water for milk for our kids. But parang when you look at it, it's really like sparkling gold with all of the <laughs> amazing nutrients and HMO and nucleotides and 10 key brain nutrients that go into it. It's so much more than, than, than just milk. I told you this story before that when I first introduced Similac Gain School to Lucia, she called it her special milk. <laughs> if only she can realize just how truly special it is. So thank you so much, Doc June. As always, I learned the naman so much the crash course na naman ako sa <laughs> innate and adaptive immunity. Um, thank you. Do you have any last words for all yeah, of um, 
who now want to take care of both innate and adaptive immune system. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, thank you, Bianca, for this opportunity. So just to summarize, for parents and caregivers out there who have children at home, it is really important to take care of our health. Health is wealth nga, di ba? Sabi nila, lalo na ngayon, na, na uh, ma- mahirap ang ating panahon ngayon, no? kailangan iprotect natin yung health natin. And one way to do that is by strengthening the immune system through nutrition. And for Similac Gain School, uh, we developed it uh, with the health of the child, the growing child in mind. That's why we have put in certain nutrients such as 2FL-HMO, which will help the um, innate immunity and also um, with nucleotides, which will help in strengthening the adaptive immunity. The child is one whole person. All of these organ systems in the body are interconnected. We also have to help in developing or in supporting the brain, which, which is why we have the 10 key brain nutrients to help that. And there, so plus a loving and healthy and nurturing environment coming from the parents and the family that would provide an ideal environment for the child so that the child can grow healthy, strong, and ready for, you know, ready for the future. It can. And if you would like to, uh, to know more about Similac Gain School or would like to ask questions about nutrition, they can also drop us a message at the Alagang Abot. Facebook page. Or if they want to call, we have a customer service number at 8995-1555. And they can just call and schedule an appointment or ask questions. And these will be handled by our nutritionists, dietitians. So there. Uh, thank you so much, Bianca, for having me. And I'm very happy to share all of this information to your viewers. I hope it can help them. It super, super helps. Thank you so much, Doc June. Salamat.